When patients are preparing drugs for injection, they get from the needle exchange this equipment to mix and prepare, to prepare the drugs. So this is called a cooker because it looks like a little pan, like you could cook something at home, and it's good for mixing up the, the drugs. And then you would open up a syringe, you mix the beads with water, mix it up, and then when you're ready, you stick the needle in to a small filter, and this stops you from taking up very large particles. The issue is that a lot of drug is left behind. Hydromorph content leaves a large residue, a lot of drug left behind. So people then add more water, they mix it again, and inject again. But now I've just put a needle that's been in my arm back into the, back into the filter and back into the mixture. And so if I unfortunately have HIV or hepatitis C, I can be adding virus to this mixture and then I inject again. And people will say, well, I would never share needles or syringes, and they don't. But there might be medication left behind, and, and often is, and so they add another wash, and someone else now comes in for a third time and draws back and injects it into their arm. Now they've put their needle into a mixture and into a filter that's had my needle with a tiny drop of blood on it in there. The tiny drop can be too small to see, but have virus in it. And by doing this, we can transfer HIV, we can transfer hepatitis C, um, possibly hepatitis B, and uh, lead to transmission of a virus. So what we found was that people who think it's a bad idea to heat it, to use a cigarette lighter and heat it, were actually more likely to have HIV. And that made us think that maybe heating it would actually be helpful. And one reason why people don't heat it is they think it's going to boil off the drug. But we checked in the lab and we worked on this and we're able to show that no, when you heat it, no more drug, no less drug comes out. The same amount. So you don't boil off the drug. You do boil off some water, so what's left is a little more concentrated, but the total amount of drug there is the same. And so if someone does an injection, they're no more likely to get a drug overdose. They're not less likely to have resolution of their pain, it's the same. We, we encourage people to heat it, and we found that it did kill the virus relatively quickly, especially if they heat it until you see bubbles. It, reduce, it, it doesn't kill it completely, but it reduces the amount of virus quite a bit, and we believe reduces the risk, especially if they heat it every time they're doing a wash, because that's serial heating has a, a cumulative effect of protection. So, and by encouraging people to do this each time, we hoped that the number of new cases of HIV would fall, and indeed that's what we found.